Everybody, it's DB. All right, we are trying to see, can you rip and flip? So, say you open these up, of course, the uh, Nightfall release event boxes, two of them. This costs $27.50 for me to get both of these, not individually, these were together. For $27.50, they're lower. Now on eBay, you can get more, you can get two for cheaper. I think, I think there's like $22 or $24 when you can get both of them. But I bought these a little while ago. So I'm seeing, can I open these packs, sell them on eBay, and make my money back? I probably won't be able to tell you unless we had some really good hits. If we did, it'll probably have to be at the end of the video where I'm actually like, hey, guess what, guys? We, uh, we actually did. Anyway, I'll shut up. Oh, I dropped my knife. So now I gotta open. All right, so there are certain cards in here, like Mothman is one of the bigger ones. I have a cheat sheet here that tells me the market value of the uh, promos for the event releases and uh, some, of the, some of the bigger hitters and the Unlucky 13 and whether or not they would actually be worthwhile. So, hmm. Why did I not remember these coming in there? I've bought a ton of these. I bulk bought that, I think I've, it's, uh, I have 20 something or more of those. All right. I don't remember that coming in though. All right, so we have Mocha Vampire. So already, we're gonna start. Where are you at, Mocha Vampire? Da, 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 da. We are starting at five dollars and seventy cents. Not bad, but you have to put in the eBay fee. You have to put in all the shipping fees and all that. So there will be a total at the end. Oh, what do we want to start with? When to go? Uh, actually, we'll start. We'll end. Yeah, we'll end there. I don't remember the card trick for this. It's been a while, actually, since I've opened some Nightfall. Uh, I do have to, I'm gonna go through and pull out all the reserve list and the Unlucky 13. I'm gonna not do a card trick, I guess. All right, so we have Blessed Light Elemental. Man, I, I really haven't opened these in a while. Remember that one. Pyre. What's that say? Tuttle Bottoms Monster. Bloodlust. Looks like Chupacabra right there. Crystallized Light, we have Nightshade, I believe that was a good card, I Poison. Headless Nun for a Reverse and Momo. So the Headless Nun most likely will not be anything. And so it would have been three. But we will look it up. I will have the total at the end of the video. Nothing in there is gonna be worth anything besides the promo. But, and Wendigo, how much was Wendigo going for? $25.68. So, if we pull a full hollow Wendigo, he actually still technically, you know, no, the reverse actually isn't that good. One, two, three. All right. Stained glass token. That's pretty cool. Ground. I love, I love my terrace. Lightning aura. Ooh, we are way out of focus. There we go. Whenever I put my arm over. Black eyed children. I believe actually was going for a little bit back in the day. Lufferlang, Possession, hey, Little Bottoms, fella. We have Murphy's Zerboro. Okay, I was gonna say that the reverse better not be. Torrential River, I believe that actually was worth a little bit at, at the time. Momo, Full Hollow. Momo is not, at least not that I remember. No, Momo is not an unlucky 13. Hey, Mothman. So that actually, I don't think was. I think it was like 68 cents. So a full hollow will add to the possibility. Mothman, I think, was like 68 cents. I, I looked a little bit of this up just to give me a little reference on how well I was going to be able to place this. And as of right now, I'm going to say maybe, maybe five bucks. Maybe. I'm going to do the trick. Hey, stained glass again. Is that Mothman? Yeah, this Mothman on there. I was gonna say. Fog. Spirit Aura. We have Blessed. Hey, that looks familiar. Ludwig, that is in my dark deck. Uh, let's see, Mermaid Shimmer. Pyre. Boost Aura with Sam Sinclair. The Purple Blob of Philadelphia. I bet you the lore for that is Philadelphia. Which is Lightning. Ooh, the Columbian River Sand Squink. I've never even, I don't even remember seeing that, but all right, so reverse. 
and a permafrost. Permafrost, I do believe, is actually unlucky. So 13. And da, 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 da. Ooh, maybe it wasn't. Why do I feel like I hmm. don't quite remember why I thought that, that was part of that. Oh shit, we're done. We are done with one. Alright, so that's not so far, I can tell you. We have not made $27.50 back. I can guarantee you. Okay, so the event release must be. You son of a gun. You ripped me off. Look who's back. Mocha Vampire. I am collecting. Uh, there will be a video on this, actually. So I'm going through and collecting all reserve lists for second edition, uh, Nightfall, UFO, uh, what am I missing? Seance. Uh, so it would be all reserve list and all of the like full hollow ones. So the obnoxious nine, the wild seven, the that whole ordeal. So now we are praying that a Wendigo is going to grace us. Hey, seen that before. Stained glass. We have mountain. Flame aura. That's, that's in my Fearsome Critters deck. Water to Wine. Familiar. Oh, yeah. I'm not even going to try his name. Bloody Bones. The Purple Blob of Philadelphia. All right, so it should be next one. Wendigo. No. Nope. Boogeyman. Boogeyman Reverse. Uh, I know Boogeyman is a decent card. Alaskan Vortex, that's definitely a... Uh, let's see if it's... It's Alaskan Vortex is not. It is unlucky 13, but it will not be even a even sense. Oh, this is when I cry. Two more packs. Yeah, at this point, I think we would have to pull some of the better ones to even get close. One, two, three. Dynamite token. Forest above my terrace. I do like the, uh, wow, focus, focus, hello. I do like that water aura with the skull kind of down there. Ami Cook. There's the uh, Luft Lang again. Iceberg with Chessie kind of hanging out in the bottom. Jack O' Lantern. Busting Spite, that's actually pretty cool for a little token deck. The Werewolf of Defiance. Robert the Doll and Lightning Alley. So that is unlucky. 13. No, it's not. Lightning Split is. I gotta, I gotta learn these better. Alright. Alright. Nice looking card. I don't quite. So, yeah, I'm gonna assume it's not. It's gonna be a big hit. Do I not have it? Nope, I don't have it up there either. Is anything that was gonna be worth anything? So, looking good. I think it has to be Wendigo at this point. And pulling the best card of the set is not gonna be easy. Oh, pray to the Mezu gods. Spiraling token. Dawn. Frost Aura. Oh, Axe Handle Hound. Light Elemental. Halloween Ghost Sheet, Poltergeist, Bubbling Brew, Sinister Shadows. This is the last, this is the last one it can be. We're gonna end on Permafrost Reverse. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I don't even think, hey, Flood the Earth, that's uh, Unlucky 13. I'm gonna say, that that's uh ooh, flood the earth six dollars and seven cents in a full hollow but i don't even think full hollow would have saved us at this point i'm gonna just call it we did not make it back unfortunately and i don't really think we got much of the uh reserve list or oh that's what permafrost is from the reserve list that's right all right if you like this video please like comment subscribe such and